Bree, the, the goddess of metamorphosis. metamorphosis. Are you there? Hi, Saturn. I'm here. Oh, uh, thanks, Stevie thanks, Nicks. Nicks. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you, Saturn. I had to charge my crystal in a salt bath under the full moon last night, but I think it's working well now. The full moon is so powerful, and she's here for you. I know, I'm really looking looking towards towards the moon right right now. now. Earth has been a little bit too chaotic chaotic for me to to spend spend any time time there. there. You know, Saturn, you're right. Earth has been a really hard place to be right now. I think collectively we're all in our own little chrysalis and we're just waiting to be reborn. I want want to get out of this cocoon cocoon finally and fly away. away. It'd be nice to go back home. home. I've been trying to find different ways that I can and reassess my energy and really like get back on track again. Do you have any techniques that might be able to help me on this journey? I think that a really great place to start would be to just find our own center, return to our own center that's in ourselves. You want to do some qigong with me? Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what is, is that? that? So qigong is a very ancient form of bodywork and breathwork, and it's combining very subtle movements to evoke this sense of oneness with ourselves and with nature. And so by using these very subtle techniques, subtle energy moving breathwork movements, um, we'll be able to just connect with the source, connect with the oneness that is within us and outside of us and connecting all of us. Yes, yes that's, that's exactly, exactly what I want, I want right, right now. Right now. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so let's start just in a seated position. So we'll start in diamond mudra, which is where you place your thumbs together and your fingers rest in your in each other's palms. Perfect. And just take a deep breath into your lower belly, connecting to your own life force energy and just allowing breath to take up space in your body. Letting go of any areas of tension or stagnation or stuckness so that your body feels weightless. Give your entire body weight to the earth beneath you with every inhalation, allowing yourself to sink deeper and deeper into the earth. The earth is here to hold you, to protect you, to contain you, reminding you that you are always held, and always safe in your earthly body. Now let's bring our hands up to our heart center and just gently rub our palms together and this is generating chi between our palms. And now with your left hand, you'll gently sweep over your forehead and then flick away the excess, sending it back to the earth and then switch. And we're just going to keep doing this in a nice flow. From left palm, flick the excess. And what this is doing is clearing away all of the old, outdated thoughts and beliefs that we store in our mind. We're shedding any excess, residual stagnation of no longer serving our highest good, creating space for gentle awareness. And then we shake our palms out to get rid of any residual stuckness that's been left behind. (sighs) Feel free to really make this audible too, like shed, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be there anymore, that's just taking up space. Shake it out, let it go back to the earth, The earth wants to take, take it all from you so it can be transformed into something beautiful. Like the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis. 
the rebirth. Letting it all go, creating space, welcoming in lightness. And then finally coming back to a place of rest. Gently resting your palms on your knees. How are you feeling, Saturn? I'm feeling like I'm, like I'm dropping into it. It's been hard to feel any attachment to Earth right now because of the noise and the level of sound. Do you think that it can still receive my unwanted energy? I think so. I think that the Earth has, or we collectively have, forgotten the Earth's intelligence. And we've been using her in all of the wrong ways and for our own like gain and for just overproduction and for drawing all of her resources away. And she's suffering. And so on a really deep level though like she is so innately intelligent and she knows how to take care of herself and regenerate and so the more we start taking care of our own selves the more we'll be able to take care of the earth and vice versa and so a way that we can do that is really cultivate a sense of earth within our own selves because our earth is here. This is our earthly center. This is our room space, our galactic portal. And it connects us to the macrocosmic earth and then the universe. And so when we cultivate our own inner earth, then we can remind the earth of her innate intelligence and reminding ourselves of our innate intelligence and then anything is possible. So yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's like That's exactly, exactly what, what I need to hear right now. now. That's really a work, work, work. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you, Father. We just cultivate our inner earth by connecting to the cosmos. Yes, I love that. that, that. So, We'll again just start with our palm resting on your knees and visualize yourself sitting upon Mother Earth. The ground is soft and moist and just gently invite some movement to your body and visualizing the night sky above, filled with stars, planets, galaxies, the all that is and the all that will be. And then we'll take a deep breath and bring both of our arms up the sides. And then reaching upward into the cosmos. And allow yourself to feel the beautiful, sparkly vibration of the stars as they caress your fingertips. As if you're reaching into the cosmos, connecting with your home planet, connecting with your own personal constellation. And when, you, and when you feel ready, you can take this cosmic energy, this cosmic chi, grab it in your hands, and then gently bring it to the level of your third eye. Allowing this cosmic force to infuse into your third eye, reminding you of your innate wisdom, your intuitive self, your clairvoyant self, your ability to see and be seen. And then we'll gently bring cosmic chi 
the level of our heart, allowing the cosmic chi to infuse our heart, filling our body with love vibration, reminding you that you have the ability to freely give and receive love. You are worthy of receiving love. You are love. And then gently bring the cosmic chi to the level of your lower dantian, which is two inches below your belly button at the center of your body. This is the source of your vital life force energy. Our life base is said to exist between our two kidneys. And it's the internal fire that allows us to exist, live, to follow our divine purpose, to trust ourselves fully, and to continue walking on our path despite any hardships or hurdles that may come up along the way. And then inhale and bring this cosmic chi all the way into your belly, resting your hands all over your lower belly. And I want to infuse into your body, integrate with all of your cells, all of your organs, all the way to your bones, the marrow within your bones. And then we gently rub the lower belly, thanking the lower belly for all that she does, thanking the earth for all that she does, showing ourselves gratitude and the earth's gratitude. And then we bring our palms together. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you. Thank you. Is this a technique that I could do every day? You could do this literally every day, any time of day, whenever you're feeling like it's like that feeling of like not being able to like be in your own body and you're just feeling very like anxious or frazzled or like you don't know what to do or yeah like how we're all feeling right now is just very much just like what do we do how do we sit in this unknowing how do we sit in this uncertainty like how do we keep going when we don't know what's coming next and how do we live without knowing like that we have any control over what's going on and so when you're feeling that way, it's so important to have moments of just returning to ourselves and to really just like sitting in the discomfort and saying, yeah, this is really uncomfortable to be a human right now. But that is the impetus to find more ground groundedness and to really connect with her and just, yeah, come home to yourself. And you have access to this medicine whenever you need it. Like, this is just you. Like, you are the medicine. And so, you know, any time of day that you need it, you can come to this space. <sighs> I feel so much more relaxed already. You deserve to feel good, Saturn. <laughs> Well, thank you, Andre. I'm gonna go sit with my thoughts for a while. But I really appreciate you helping me through this. Thanks for reaching out for some help. I'm always here if you need anything. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Saturn.